Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna bake a cake named Mikado and I want to share with you the recipe. Before starting, I would like to mention that it's one of my favorite cakes uh, since my mom used to bake uh, it a lot when we were kids. So this is my mom's recipe and it's one of the best recipes ever for this cake so try it and you will not regret it let's start but first let me transform into my baking mode okay i'm ready let's get started for this cake we will need the following ingredients flour butter salt chocolate eggs powdered sugar sour cream margarine baking powder, well condensed milk, cocoa powder, and vanilla. And guys, I forgot to mention that it's better if your ingredients are room temperature. We start by making the cake layers. So to the four eggs, we add a little bit of vanilla and beat it with a the mixer. Then we add gradually the powdered sugar. It's better to pass it through a sieve so there are no lumps. We beat it until it's all white and smooth. Next, we add 100 grams of margarine. It's better to cut it in small cubes. Then we add the sour cream and baking soda mixed together and again beat it with a mixer. Then we start adding the flour again gradually and using a sieve. We repeat this until we have a dough which is not sticky and with which we can work with. Also don't forget to add a pinch of salt. When the dough is less sticky, we put it on the table and start to work with our hands. When it's ready, we cut the dough into 8 or 10 pieces and start to work with each piece individually. We roll out the pieces and put them into the baking oven. It's better to put a little bit flour into the oven so the dough will not stick. It's better if you can roll out the dough evenly but if you can't, it's also okay, but try your best. Also try to make it as thin as possible. And when it's ready, get rid of the extra flour. For the dough cream, take an egg and beat it until it's all white and smooth. And then add the powdered sugar gradually and using a sieve. Beat it well until the sugar is melted. In a separate bowl, beat with a mixer room temperature butter. You need 400 grams of it. You can use half butter, half margarine. Then gradually add the well condensed milk. When you're done, add the mixture and beat it with a mixer again. Next, add the cocoa powder. Use as much as you like, but it's better not to add too much so you can't feel the taste of cocoa powder. Don't forget the vanilla. This is what you should have. Then put the layers on the table as shown in the video and put cream on each of it. Spread the cream evenly and put one layer on the other. When the cake is ready, put the shredded chocolate on the top and leave it overnight. For serving, it's better to cut it as shown in the video. This is what it should look like. Bon appétit! Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next videos.